The air was hot and musty as the explorers made a hole in the plaster-filled doorway of the ancient Egyptian tomb. No one had seen inside this royal resting place for 3,000 years, and they didn't know what they would find. When archaeologist Howard Carter held up a candle to peer inside on November 26, 1922, the light glinted on golden objects. This tomb, belonging to the pharaoh Tutankhamun, would soon become the most famous ancient Egyptian discovery of all time. Meet this ancient ruler pharaoh Tutankhamun, Tut for short, ruled over ancient Egypt from about 1333 to 1323 BC, he became king when he was just nine years old during a challenging time in ancient Egyptian history. Tut's father, Akhenaten, had tried to change the religious beliefs of the land. He wanted Egyptians to worship just one god, the sun, called Aten, instead of the two thousand gods that people had believed in for thousands of years. The priests, elites, and common people probably disliked this change, but they had to follow their pharaoh's orders, or at least appear to. Archaeologists have found small statues of the old gods in people's houses from around this time. After Akhenaten died, nine-year-old Tut took the throne. He repaired the old temples and paid for new statues of the gods, changing the religious practices back to the way things used to be. He even changed his name. His birth name had been Tutankhaten. The last two syllables honored the sun god, but he changed to Tutankhamun after taking the throne. As king, Tut would have participated in religious ceremonies and festivals, gone on hunting trips, learned how to ride horses and drive chariots, and trained in military skills. But Tut didn't have a lot of time to rule, he died around age 19. Experts aren't sure if his death was caused by an injury from a chariot crash, a mosquito borne illness, a bone disease, or some combination of these. Whatever the reason, Tut didn't leave behind any children, so the throne went to his advisor A. Eh? 